Hi everyone and welcome, I'm the Sparrow Jenny and this is the forest. I'm gonna start a gameplay on the forest. I really don't want to call it a let's play because there's no linear story and things happening in a script like any other normal let's play. So I will probably call it gameplay. I know there's a lot of bugs and a lot of things that need fixing because if you don't know, the forest is still in early access. It was released on 30 of May on Steam. And if you don't want to know more about it, more general info, you should go into my channel and look for the first look impressions video that I did. I have one key for the forest that I'm gonna give away and this video will start out that giveaway. The only thing you need to do is thumbs up, like the video and comment below saying that you want a key. If you comment about anything else about the video, please be free to do so. In the next videos, I'll just randomly pick one of the people that comment and I'll just give him the key. So let's start it out. Here we go. In the plane with what seems to be our son that will play a very relevant role in the story. I keep saying that the forest has a story and then I say it doesn't. It does have a story but not a linear one. And we're crashing down. Son, hold on to me. Bad shit will happen. Like he's sticking his head on a front bench. <laughs> that can't be good. This isn't good either. And the game starts. So this is basically the plot. You get down on an island, you crash there, and you have to survive. Not only that, it seems that you had a son, or at least you had a child to your care, and that child got kidnapped by a freaking caveman, tribal man, whatever that is. This is a foot. I'm treating you, the viewer, as someone that never saw the forest, but you should have already saw this game, so I'm just gonna refrain from explaining everything. So this is an open world survival horror game. And... Each time you start a game, you get a different map, random generated. Uh, these are some luggages, I can pick them up. Or open them up. Like this. And get... All the stuff inside. I should now really be careful with my surroundings. Right about now, what I do know is that there are cavemen, tribal men. That want your skin in, in your scalp. They already took my son, and there seems to be some of them there. A good place to start it out would be somewhere with a water source, because you constantly need water to wash the blood of your body. To drink water? Well, to fish, that's one thing. And it, it would be a good idea to have your back of your camp to the sea or to a river so that you know that no one will come from that direction. I think they patched the game this night because I had the water bugged and it's not anymore. So a lot of st a lot of stuff are still is still new to me. So I'm picking up leaves, that would be useful to start a fire and to build a temporary shelter. And those are tribe men over there, you don't want to mess up with those yet. You want to get some armor from... Spice... Oh shit, some more there. You can skin animals and have their their skin to, to build armor. 
and I'm <laughs> tired already. I think I started in on a real bad place, to be honest. So two things. You want to be near a water source and you want to be near the plane crash. At least on the start, because you want to get stuff from that plane crash. I didn't have much time to get it. Let's press B. This is where the blueprints are located and this is where you start your crafting basically. So I'm gonna build a hunting shelter just because a temporary shelter is temporary and I don't want a temporary shelter. And a cabin will take a shitload of logs. So I'm gonna go for the hunting shelter now. I'm gonna place it right about here. How you put it is just up to you. I don't think it's that any difference. Go, I'm putting all the rocks and all the sticks. I need some more logs. I need two sticks and eight logs. I'm, I need to get one of these trees down. So let's get them down while watching my back if I can. That seems to be a good place to be to build a camp on because I can just take care of my surroundings. Oh shit, I'm failing this. <laughs> Not a good woodcutter. Is this just only one tree? There seem like two. Yeah, they look like two trees stuffed in just one. What the hell? Not only people are mutants here, but the trees are as well. Here we go. Wood. Okay. Can only carry two logs at a time, and that tree gave us four logs. <sighs> Put one, two. I need six more. Um, that should be two more here. One, two. Okay. First thing you should build is a shelter. Oh shit! That noise is bad. Oh, here we go. That noise means one of the tribe men saw you. Okay, two of them. Three of them. Great. I thought I would be safe here. But apparently I'm not. So what do you want to build right now? Is a campfire. Because the fire tends to scare them out. Or bumpy egg them! Come here! You want some of some of me? Lady? Huh? Oh shit, your husband is mad. Ah oh, shit, I can take one, but not three of them. Maybe I can just scare them out, eventually. Ah oh, shit! Still haven't hit me, that's good. They're fucking fast. Okay, got one hit now. Jesus, you're weak. Ah, oh, fuck! So the AI is... Pretty smart, this around you. That would be a good idea to fucking eat a chocolate. But I think if I do that, it will just kill me. I can just run, but I have my camp here, goddammit. Ah, uh, this always fucking happens to me. I get attacked by these tribal men. I get taken to a cave where they will try to skin me. But I don't know what happens, but it seems that they give you a second chance. And you come here again. But if you get captured again, it's game over. So it's like you have two lives. There's one down there bleeding. Not sure why. I don't know if there's bleeding in the game. Can I eat a freaking chocolate? Because I'm one hit away from dying. Or losing this fight. Get the fuck away from me, you weird Chandelar guy. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna try and eat the chocolate now. Fast, 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 fast. I don't have a chocolate. Here we go. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was useless. I stopped to get some more, some more health. But these guys got me. So this is why I think you have at least two lives. The first one, the first time you get attacked and I don't want to say killed, because you don't get killed. 
you get captured and you come here. I'm not sure if that's bound to happen or if you can avoid it. Thing is, you find a lot of people that are deaf and they are passengers. And this one seems special because they liked him and they're putting him on a pedestal with another head. And I'm not sure of the point of the game because you see a meter for people found, passengers found. I have no idea what happens when you eventually fi find 130 guys. But let's pick it up everything down from here. I know for a fact that you are able to get out of here safely. Um, seems to be some cloth here that I can pick up. There we go. And, oh yeah, a flare gun. This, so far, that I know of, is the most efficient way of killing these people. People? Creatures? Ugly? Guys? Whatever they are. Okay, it seems I picked everything and the way out is around here. Here we go. I'm relying on a lighter that doesn't seem to be wasted. It seems to be infinite. But it goes off sometimes. Let's get the fuck out of here. So although there's no linear story, there's apparently some things that will eventually always happen. I know there's some guys up here. Somewhere here they are. Jesus, they're ugly. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I'm not friendly. If you look menacing, you will get hurt. Stop it. I warned you. I think a flare kills them. Not instantly, but they get burned and they will eventually die from the fire. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm covered in blood. I need water. Oh fuck, this is new to me. The way out used to be right here. Oh shit, this is very new to me. What? I really shouldn't be coming down here, should I? Oh fuck. Oh shit, fuck piss. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I was confident enough because I knew what would already happen, but not anymore. So the game was patched. Oh shit, what? I'm fucking lost. Oh, I'm not. Here we go. Okay. Let's break this down. And... This is where the game seems to bug. Look at this. So I have a flare gun, an axe, and another type of axe. But it seems I'm lefting something behind, but I'm not. Okay, here we go. Now I can either start again or go back to my previous campsite. I don't know about you, but every time I'm doing stuff here in the forest. I'm always looking at the boundaries of the screen to see if they're coming. No, you don't get killed by trees coming down, fortunately. It's sort of an, a hassle, but in the long run, I think it's worth it to build my camp in here. There we go. I have a shelter that will allow me to fill my energy and save game. Save game is still not happening. The second thing you should build is a campfire. There's several type of 
campfires as well. There's a basic fire, the standing fire, and a fire pit. Basically, the fire pit is the one that lasts longer. And I don't know about the standing fire because I never used it. I don't know if you can cook stuff in the standing fire. So I'm going to go and play safe and do the fire pit, which is... It requires more rocks, but I mean... Or a lot of rocks at all compared with the basic fire. But rocks are scattered all around, so you can find it pretty easily. I'm going to put it down here and use what I got. So I need more rocks. Here we go. I have a lot of rocks around, so why not just build the um, the one that will last longer? It's like the world is giving you rocks. So why build a smaller fire camp? It might just be me, but I feel that rocks live in this game because they tend to appear out of nowhere that's a bird that's a bugged bur bird so I need more sticks where can I get more sticks out of? oh shit I have no idea how those guys missed me they tend to go into your camp and see what you do. Oh my god, more of them. Just give me a break, God's sake. I need <sighs> sticks. You should be careful coming down from the coast and these rocks. I've already died with a short jump. That I thought it would be a short jump, but it was not. Sticks, sticks. I need smaller trees like this one. Just branches. Here we go. Sticks, 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 sticks. Not rocks, god damn it. Okay, one more. I don't feel safe walking around the forest. Because these guys can disguise so well. The developers really nailed the AI and the behavior of these guys. They do really feel like cavemen that never seen something like, like a plane or, you know. And I build fire! That's pretty dip. Okay, here we go. The next step, my personal step at least, is building a trap so that I can get some of their corpses and to build effigies, which keeps them away most of the times. Okay, let's keep exploring, see if we can find something unusual. I can build a temporary shelter anywhere if I need to rest. Okay. A valley. Now if you try to go down from here, you will die. I've already tried. And failed miserably. It's the sort of stuff you don't want to try in an early access. <laughs> oh, here's some rabbits. Come here, you! <laughs> there we go. I can skin them and take their meat. And there's lizards as well. Why do they have animals and I don't? That's not fair. Here we go. Gimme. Oh, here's some berries. So blackberries are toxic and will lead to your death. But these are not black, are they? Hope not. Where was the... Uh, here we go. The lizard. And you can use your skin to protect yourself. Increases armor. There we go. I have some armor now. I don't see any armor, but... Okay, this seems to be a place where... The tribal men lived, but they don't seem to live here anymore. It's coming night time, and this is where... When the game becomes really frightening. Oh, oh that's the other part of the plane. 
I need to get down there. To see if it unveils a little bit more of the game. I need to eat soon again. It's bad that you get captured, but to be honest, if that gives me a flare gun, I prefer to be captured every time. Well, some of it is still functioning. Why this sounds, man? Fuck's sake. Yep, the pilot is dead, alright. And there's one more pilot there. Ah, oh, shit. One more flare gun. Yep, he's pretty dead. And I don't feel safe anymore. Oh shit, what? What is that? I hate this. 